whoa. <laughs> that was sexy. <laughs> oh. Sorry. <laughs> I got totally That's distracted. Sexy. Sorry. Oh uh, what was I talking about? I can't remember. I thought you were laughing at your little joke that it's not no, a I was laughing at waste of time. Like his shirt off. What? What was yeah. that? You did. You scratched your stomach. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry. I apologize. This is the handsome Evan show, so. <laughs> oh, they made me take well, a title off. for the Patreon people. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Nerd Herd Gaming Podcast here on the Next Level Nerd Network. Today, we're going to have a special Valentine's Day episode and get some insight of what it's like dating gamers and being married to gamers and that whole minefield. <laughs> I am Handsome Evan, and today I have Ashton with me again. Hi. Jessica, who was with us before. Hello. And new to the gaming show, we have Kelly. What's up? She's very excited <laughs> to be here. <laughs> he sounded so cool and aloof. You know. that's, that's Kelly in a nutshell. <laughs> I know, right? If you like what you hear today, you can follow us on Facebook at facebook.com backslash next level nerd, Twitter at NLN Gaming, and on Twitch at NLN Handsome Evan. Leave a comment, share, like, follow, all that good stuff. Let us know how we're doing, what you like, what you didn't like. We appreciate all of that. And also be sure to check out our sponsor, LARP Box, the best LARPing box on the internet. <laughs> Definitely. You, can get, you can get a special discount if you put in the promo code 321 podcast, and that gives 10% off your purchase and help support us. Yes. All righty. First, Kelly, you want to introduce yourself? Just tell us a little about yourself while you're here. Yeah, I'm Kelly. I am here because I am married to one of the people, I guess. That's a weird way Just to put one. it. Yeah, just the one. <laughs> so Ashton's my husband, and I would say I am the one representing maybe the non-gamer, <laughs> definitely representing the non-gamer um, perspective, I guess. Recently, you played a little of Mario Party, right? Yes. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. I guess we'll probably get to that. But yeah, so I've dabbled, but I, I definitely would not call myself... A gamer so um right what about you jess any new uh ventures in the gaming since we last talked to you um well i have been playing a little bit of the new mario yeah a little bit with justin i'm not really gonna sit down and play by myself mostly because there's never free tv to do that in my house but sure. um <laughs> i mean if i'm in my bedroom and justin's playing mario and I'm like, hey, can I play with you? And he says yes, because sometimes he says no. Yes. Although we we all we almost killed each other over I think it was one of the Wario games for the Wii. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> that was uh yeah, we spent a lot of time doing that. There's a bit of a running joke with that with Mario Party that it'll tear apart friendships and marriages <laughs> yeah if you're playing against each other but there is a cooperative mode well even cooperative mode like even when you play mario together it's like i'm clearly not as good and when there's two people trying to do the same thing it's like you can't <laughs> how many times am i gonna die before he's like just picks me up and carries me <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually was... not that bad at it <laughs> It was a good choice on uh, Nintendo's part to give you that option. <laughs> yes. <laughs> even to play. <laughs> yeah. Gaming takes on a whole new level when there's you and your husband and your five-year-old trying to play. There's a lot of levels there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So back when I was dating, I found that to be like a kind of a big question in my mind like when do i bring this up <laughs> because when you're out in the dating world 
Like saying you're a gamer is not the sexiest thing to tell another person. <laughs> and it has a, a lot of weight with it these days. Like if you just said that, they probably think you live in your mother's basement and play World of Warcraft for 20 hours a day. You don't have a real job. Mm. Um, Only partly true. <laughs> right. So I live in my own part, basement. Part-time job. <laughs> so what do you two as non-gamers feel about that? Uh, scenario. That was actually when you were talking about doing this episode, uh, the first thing that came to mind was uh, when we were dating and I had actually, I don't know if you know this, oh, we learned so much about each other. Five years into marriage. It's so great. <laughs> so I had just had a pretty short, like, quote unquote relationship with a guy that was literally living at home and um, played a whole lot of games and then turned out to, like, be a pothead and was just, like, super lame. So um, it had left kind of a bad taste in my mouth. Plus, I had some, like, family members whose relationships was kind of impacted by excessive gaming, right? So so I was hesitant. And I don't know, Ashton, if you, like, picked up on that or I actually said that. I can't remember that part exactly. But I definitely was kind of, like you know, hackles kind of raised if I would hear, you know, too much about video games because I was worried that that was, like, equivalent to, like, over-gaming, I guess, you know. Mm -hmm. So I really did feel like you kind of felt me out, like, (laughs) when is it okay? I'm going to drop a little teaser. I mean, honestly, like, with, like, so much of the nerd stuff, like, drop a little teaser here and then be like really charming and okay I got her a little more hooked and then maybe I'll just like reveal a little oh I larked one time but like it was way in the past you know (laughs) (laughs) yeah so uh, then I think I was at I was at your apartment or something but finally it came up about World of Warcraft and I was like (gasps) Oh no! <laughs> and again, like you just, I, you downplayed it. Like I don't even play that much anymore. And it was true, I think, because at the time you were like working two jobs. Ashton was working two jobs. I shouldn't just keep talking to you. It's just his face is right here. It's really hard to not do that. Um, and so while I don't feel like he misrepresented, I did feel like you were really careful. And honestly, for me, that was good. Like <laughs> because I, I did have like these preconceived notions of like. You know, not that I was hopefully, you know, understanding enough to not think, oh, anyone who plays video games is like obsessed with it and can't do anything else with their life. And, you know, but definitely it felt like a slippery slope to me. So mm-hmm. that's kind of uh, funny that you say that, Evan. I guess I was like, oh, we're so unique in that way. But that's probably not the case. <laughs> so do all like gamers approach relationships, new relationships like, Ugh. Can I tell them? Can I mention it? Be I guess careful. it really depends. Um, I definitely wouldn't say all. Like, I'm sure there's gamers out there that go out there and it's the first or second thing they say. And that's either because it's so important to them or they're obtuse about the and like, <laughs> don't mm-hmm. get that that's not something you bring up on the first day. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of, you know, Justin and I have been married for 11 years, 10 Ever. years. And ever, yeah. Well, and it was different for us because I knew him from high school. So it's like I gaming wasn't like a is he does he do it does he not? But now it's weirder because I have to like explain to other people like yeah he plays video games and then sometimes you get like a look like uh you know people will be like oh man I don't have time to play video games and I'm like yeah okay but you probably have time to sit in front of your tv for 10 hours and play fantasy football like it's the same you know what I mean it's like different degrees of things that you like and as long as you're not staying home three days a week from your job to play video games and then you end up losing it it's it's a hobby you know it's something you like to do and it just has sometimes it has a, a stigma against it and obviously and it just doesn't have to be that way and so i i kind of i kind of equate it to that you know it's like some it's like fantasy football or you know going to the bar after work or you know it's it's one of infinite ways you could spend your free time and you know whether or not it's gaming or larping or whatever it brings you joy and you shouldn't be ashamed of it and people need to get over themselves 
And I think they are too, a little bit. Yeah, living proof right here. I mean, I was like, I was part of the problem, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I was playing into the stigma, um, which is, I don't know, kind of funny to admit now. Um, but I think what really brought me around was we moved far away and I saw how gaming helped Ashton stay connected with friends back home. You know, that it was yeah, really like games online together. Yeah. Yeah. That that social aspect was kind of, I think, what won me over um, because my fear, now this is coming from, you know, a psychiatrist by trade, I guess. Right. So I'll just put that out there. But like my fear is that, you know, a person ends up staring at a screen in total isolation and isn't interacting with the real world, right? So when you throw in the social aspect of gaming, whether that's in, like, a party setting, you know, like you're doing fun games on, you know, but they're people together and you're interacting in real life too, or, like, you know, the virtual inter- interaction, um, that is, like, so – I could see the value in that so much more, I guess. You know what's really funny is that I feel like – now things are are progressing to that because I asked Jude, my um my almost nine year old, he plays Fortnite like it's his paying job, obviously, because he's nine and that's what nine year olds do. But I asked yeah. him, I was like, Why do you love Fortnite so much? And he he didn't say it was oh, cause I get to like shoot stuff, do really cool moves and stuff. He was like, Cause I get to play with my friends. Mm. That's that's the re- that's the number one reason he said it without any prompting immediately and that was the only thing he said about it so it's like I think I think this generation that's growing up with having video games be a social thing because that wasn't you know it was kind of a thing when we were growing up but only in the sense that you you know would take turns being Mario at, you know oh uh, sure someone's Couch house co-op, they called it yeah so but now it's like they're actually interacting with their friends and they're having constant conversation constant conversation (laughs) (laughs) but i think i think they're they're all that to say i think they're poising gaming to become more of a like just more of a social thing and you know girls v boys you know there's i know there's girls on there that play with with the dude too so it's like i think i think it's we're we're heading down a good path where people don't hear the word gamer and think of Cartman from that episode of uh, <laughs> yeah, South Park. South yeah, Park. <laughs> yeah. I right. mean, I was thinking that even earlier when we started talking about like stigma and like what comes to mind or whatever. And maybe I'm in a bubble or I'm naive, <laughs> but I like to think that like, oh, there's no stigma. <laughs> <laughs> or at least it's way different than it was. That's what people stay when there's still a stigma. Oh, there's no yeah. stigma anymore. <laughs> right. I didn't think of that quote. And I was trying to figure out, like, am I just a walking stigma? Like, <laughs> gamer, <laughs> Kelly and I met online. Those are, like, stigmas. <laughs> uh, so, anyway, you okay? I don't know. Yeah. I, and I don't stay up on, like, I don't even know how you would accurately figure that out like there's probably studies on it like do you think gaming is only nerdy or it's niche or it's not that mainstream or whatever like i guess that's what i tend to think think is like nerdy stuff in general is pretty mainstream now and especially video games i mean they have huge you know esports tournaments with thousands of people there you know it's not not anything like real sports yet but it's kind of heading in heading in that direction and like there's less and less people where you could have a conversation and they won't just know when they hear Fortnite, they'll know what you're talking about or mm-hmm. World of Warcraft maybe or you know definitely like Super Mario and Legend of Zelda they probably will have a frame of reference uh and not to overgeneralize but i would be mm-hmm. feel safe saying most people in our generation you talk to them they're going to know what you're talking about so there's kind of less of a in the dark, playing video games all night, eating junk food, stigma. <laughs> well, and that's certainly something you can do. Sure. You know, it's like <laughs> it's it's like the difference between having a couple drinks at dinner and being an alcoholic. You know, yes. you certainly can <laughs> right. go overboard with it and have it ruin your life. But 
feel like the vast majority of people don't do that, but the ones you hear about are the horror stories, right? Right. The, yeah. Yeah. You know, that's the guy you go out on a date with. It's it's like any one of those you know things that are quote unquote weird that aren't really that weird. Mm-hmm. Sure. Yeah. So I mean, this is selfishly motivated, but. Definitely. I want to hear what it's like to date a (laughs) (laughs) non-gamer. Yeah. And uh, what that was. I mean, I I guess you and Evan could probably share experiences about that, but I definitely want to hear Ashton, of course. Believe it or not, I have dated a couple (laughs) non-gamers. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I guess I'll go first. Um, It was not something I like it wasn't like um what do you call it like it wasn't on like a list of like it wasn't a deal breaker if you know i met somebody who was a non gamer clearly yeah um <laughs> i mean like going into it i guess um mm-hmm. so it was kind of like maybe it'd be nice maybe it wouldn't be i don't know like it it kind of there were other things i guess that were my priority um that that kind of didn't matter to me um and in a lot of ways i think i say this to you I say this to Kelly quite a bit that like she always asked me he's like oh do you do you not like that I don't really like video games and I'm like no I don't care at all like <laughs> in a lot of ways it's good like I don't know it keeps us doing different things um you know I've again I'm trying not to generalize too much but <laughs> a lot of people that I, like some, there's a lot of things about gamers male or female or whatever that I don't T- c- tend to care for <laughs> mm-hmm. so there is bonuses for dating someone who doesn't have certain tendencies or or whatever you know i just had a total epiphany can i interrupt you yeah. because i always said that about people in medicine so some people are like you know is your husband involved in medicine because like you know it could go either way like a doctor marries another doctor you can like totally understand each other's life or you know you marry someone outside of medicine and i always thought you know, I didn't want to marry someone else in medicine because I don't want my whole life to be about that. You know, like it's a nice balance. And that's actually why um, I even got online dating, like got on online dating because I was like so sick of all the personalities that go along with like type A mm. <laughs> driven <laughs> med school types, you know, and I was like, I need something else around um, some other kind of influence. So that was certainly not me. Yeah, yeah I'm pretty sure gamers are the true. opposite of that. Yeah, generally. So. You park the car and play your Switch. You're not driven. <laughs> <laughs> wow. you have done that, yes. Yeah, boost, <laughs> <laughs> but that helps me understand because I think I have always kind of not really been able to wrap my head around like, which is probably why I ask you all the time, ask Ashton all the time. Um, like you spend so much of your free time playing games, not all of it, but a lot of it. And we don't share that necessarily. So it wouldn't make sense to me like, oh, is that OK? You know. Um, but I mean, I spend all my professional time doing something you don't and that's fine. So, yeah. Ah, oh, this is so great. <laughs> Episode over. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're welcome that I asked you on the show. Yeah. <laughs> Did so, you yeah. want to say more? Cause I was like totally interrupting. No, that's okay. I was kind of not really sure where I was going with anything. Oh, so. perfect. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> most, most of his train of thoughts are like that. So. Yeah, basically. Well, so Evan, you've had experiences with non-gamers and gamer girlfriends, right? So Right. So any girl I've dated that wasn't a gamer, uh, I don't think I've pushed them to game at all, but they have played video games in some regard, like uh, more than just like a mobile game or something like that. Like they find a game they like, and they'll play that or if there's a game we can play together that's always great too i'm currently dating a girl that is a gamer and that's nice too and i was thinking about like what you guys are talking about having different interests and doing different things um that one day when fallout 76 came out we both got it and both played it and one one day we both had off we sat and played that for like 10 or 12 hours straight <laughs> like, <laughs> like a ridiculous amount of time and that's probably not healthy <laughs> <laughs> not if it's every day but it's also really nice to have that uh, to do together and 
you know, um, spend time together doing that. Mm. Uh, sure, but yeah. it, it also, yeah, it was some quality time, but it also caused some problems because we play differently and I would get <laughs> mad at her. <laughs> and luckily she, you know, said something and didn't just let it go or whatever. And I corrected my attitude about it, you know, which, and then we continued to play together and it was much better after that. <laughs> um, but as far as non-gamers go, I mean, it, it is nice to have um, different uh, activities to do and push you to do other things. Uh, but, you know, I guess those girls didn't work out. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I feel like they didn't have any hobbies was kind of the problem. Hmm. <laughs> well, there's your problem. Yeah. Yeah. So it wasn't different interests. It was they weren't interesting at all. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or they didn't have any interest. Seven right. type. Exactly. Uninter- Unfortunately, for a long time. <laughs> yeah, I've just met the worst of that. <laughs> oh, bless. Uh, it happens, you know? But that's the thing, though, right? It's like, a, a gamer, no gamer, whatever. It's all about whether you understand your significant other's things. And why they like to do certain things, yeah. and I think I think that makes a big difference. Understanding that it's not it's not wasting time. I think I think there's the part of the stigma around it is that it's wasting time, yeah. but it's it's really not. You know, it kind of comes down to basic relationship stuff. Yeah. That you know, no matter what your hobby is, if as long as you appreciate it in that other person. Um, they don't, they're not like jealous of it or like, what's the word? Like they don't, you know, they don't be like, well, why is he playing video games instead of hanging out with me? Yeah. You know, yeah. uh, or, um, or he's just whatever, you know? not doing anything. Uh, you know, it's the same, it's the same tired trope as, you know, the, the guy watching football and the woman is vacuuming around his yeah. feet. You know, it's, it's the same, it's the same thing. If you don't, if you can't see the value in, in your partner having, a hobby or a way to spend their time that's not like directly helping your life then you have a problem that is not that thing it's not gaming it's not football it's not you know whatever someone chooses to spend their time doing sure and vice versa if the other person is clearly i don't know upset about something or doesn't understand and you're not trying to make the effort or Mm -hmm. you are you know, maybe avoiding dealing with something or, you know, you're not spending more time with them, um, then there's, yeah, something you should examine there. Mm -hmm. Um, Sometimes it's work off base, but sometimes, yeah, you just need to resolve it or whatever. Well, and, you know, one of the things, like, I, you know, I'm not a gamer. I've played games before and I, you know, we enjoy spending time together playing games sometimes. But one of the things that, I think Justin really loves when I do this sometimes is when I, and this is so, this sounds so dumb, but if I'm sitting there and he's playing a game and I'm like, you know, watching him play it, you know, games now are are actually a little bit interesting when you're not playing them just to watch. I mean, there's like, like I, I remember the first time I really noticed myself doing it was when Justin was playing through, um, Batman Arkham Asylum I think it was yeah, and yeah. it's very puzzle based and so like when you get to certain parts you have to like figure out like a like a pattern or something and so I was helping him figure them out and we were you know we were kind of doing it together and it was it seems weird to talk about it like that but it was it was actually kind of fun and I think that was that was something that made me appreciate like that okay this is something he likes to do and he gets enjoyment about uh, out of me seeing him enjoy himself so you know why why would I begrudge him that you know what I mean so I think not that everyone should sit there and watch their boyfriends play you know first person shooters or anything because that's that's super boring but like you know some sometimes it it can be a little bit interesting sure and actually what I thought you were going to say was that sometimes he'll play the game you'll be next to him like reading a book or on your phone or whatever so that can kind of still be time together. It's not like exactly quality time, but 
Yeah, you're sharing you know, the same space. Yeah, and you can talk back and forth or whatever. Mm-hmm. whatever so. Yeah, my girlfriend now is does play video games, but like not to the degree Asher and I do. Uh, and she's more of a reader. So we had this discussion about like, you know, in the future, like if we live together, like she wants her alone time and, you know, not to be bothered. And I'm like, yeah, that's great. <laughs> like, I'll play video games. You do whatever you want. <laughs> but she, she's had problems in the past with guys that like get upset that she wants to read and they want to hang out or they're not paying attention. Uh, she's not paying attention to him. So she was worried that might come up in the future. And I'm like, Psh, nah, you can read as much as you want. <laughs> <laughs> and that is like something we could do next to each other. Like she can read and I can play video games. And mm-hmm. She'll make comments. Day, about, yeah. <laughs> she'll make comments about what's going on in her book. And I'll say, mm, uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's usually like Stephen King or something. So it's usually something interesting. Hmm. Kelly, I remember the story. You just, just you're saying video games are interesting, but not all video games. <laughs> There's been a few times <laughs> Kelly's informed me, like, if we, of the three of us, we first got married, Evan, Kelly, and I all lived together um, right after we got married because we were going to move soon. So anyway, Kelly just moved in with us. Uh, and so sometimes Evan and I would be playing a video game together and she'd be in the same room. But we'd be playing something like Mario like on the Wii or something and it has a very repetitive soundtrack oh and a lot gosh. of a lot yeah. of sound effects <laughs> and I learned that if you're <laughs> not playing a video game <laughs> that these so- these the music and the sounds could be like infuriating and driving yeah. crazy yeah. yes uh, Elias told me that and I didn't realize it now it's kind of funny to me but <laughs> then she got to playing some of these kind of games and she was like oh you don't notice it so much or it, you know if you know like it's there's more an like association a cause or a, yeah. an effect so you expect mm-hmm. a noise oh, that's but the if you're jump like sound not or, watching it yeah. or yes. doing it it's just like oh my gosh if <laughs> i hear one more ding <laughs> noise <laughs> it was really hilarious funny. She was telling the story and then singing like the five second refrain or whatever <laughs> that was just going over and over again. Oh, it was really fun. Oh, man. So now it's a bit of a running joke. Um, and th- that's the funny story is the more, the worst stories are when it's like loud and, you know, there's bangs and people yelling and shooting and me swearing. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's when it's not just annoying, but it's like a problem. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, who would like any hobby that leads to that? Right. right? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. I mean, I think yeah. that's where this conversation is kind of going, which is I wasn't expecting, but it's nice. Like, I, it's there's really just a good value of people having hobbies, respecting each other's hobbies, and trying mm-hmm. them out, and you know, um, and mm-hmm. also respecting if you have like different difference of interests. That's that's perfectly sure. fine. But I think one thing that has really kind of helped turn my you know, opinion about gaming is Ashton's done a nice job figuring out what games I might enjoy. Like we, he figured out pretty quickly that like really competitive games or like violent game, even like mildly violent games. I just don't like, like I won't like any kind of like, um, <laughs> I don't think anyone plays this anymore. But what came to mind was like Mortal Kombat, like when you just had the two people fighting each other or whatever. Like I mean, I they just my brother. released a new Mortal Kombat. Oh, did they really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is so totally relevant. Probably not, yeah. Probably not the game you're thinking in your head. No, I think it's like oh, way old. Right ah, oh, I'm so knowledgeable. But um, like I didn't even really like playing that game. game anyway, yeah, but, but Ashton it's gotten more violent. <laughs> Ashton rented a game or something, um, and it was. The cutest little stinking game. It was the only game I think I've ever played on my own, which was Yoshi's Woolly World or whatever. Yeah, no, we owned it. Yeah. That's a fun game. No, well, you rented it first, and then I said, we have to get this. Oh, maybe, Because I liked it. So, like, I actually really liked it. But it was, like, adorable and cutesy, and it was, like, really obvious what are the next steps. Because there are other things I hate is, like, Mm. just roll around this world and figure out what the hell to do. I'm like, (laughs) I don't have time for this. No, I I can't stand those kinds. I'm like, what? Just 
show me. I want to just go right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Go. Like, I mean, and I'm a huge Harry Potter nerd, and I can't even stand those kind of Harry Potter games. It's like, you're just supposed to roam around the castle to figure out where to go, that you can do the spells or whatever. And, like, I've never finished any of them because I just get so irritated with, like, I'm walking in circles, nothing is happening. Uh (laughs) To do next. That was the other way I think Ashton has introduce me some games and no it never stuck we're like now i'm a total gamer you know but it's we've had enjoyable memories where we did that that other it was like a japanese kind of game with the thread the, oh, the yarn. Yeah, it was an indie game what is that called oh i think i, I think justin played that one it's so beautiful looking yeah. and um it wasn't like particularly hard in like the mechanics of it but um ashton would sit next to me and kind of tell me what to do <laughs> So that he's like, oh, you should jump up on that thing. I'm like, how did you know to do that? And it made me feel like he was super impressive, which is always good, I think, in a relationship. Be impressed Mm -hmm. by your partner. Mm -hmm. Uh, But also, um, you know, got past that thing that he knows I find really frustrating, which is like, I don't know what the next step is. And then if I got to a hard part, he'd just do it for me. So it was like best of all worlds. So (laughs) that was kind of a nice compromise. (laughs) I like it. It sounds like, Jess, you were kind of saying the same thing. Like, um, you and Justin have found some games that you're able to enjoy together, even if you're not, like, a total gamer yourself. Yeah, yeah. And it, it's, I, I, I really, it really does go back to just, like, maybe not being a shitty person. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, it's right? The, bo- because... the bottom line of this episode. Always helpful. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Don't be a shitty person. It's 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 literally like you know, it's it is different from other things, but it's no different from other things. It's one of those like you know, if you can enjoy your hobby while respecting your partner's time and and your duties as a human being of this world, then <laughs> I think I think you'll be okay. There's no need to be ashamed of it or afraid of you know, dating someone who doesn't have the same interests as you. And, you know, if you like to date a gamer or you end up marrying someone who's a gamer, you'll be just like those couples who are always hiking and stuff. They share, they share a hobby instead of taking a picture in front of a mountain, you'll take a picture of your, you know, Dorito pile after a day or something. (laughs) (laughs) That was a beautiful analogy there. Beautiful. <laughs> Screenshot That's your high true. school. Those people are the same, and it's it's the same thing. It's just it's just different uh, different strokes for different folks. One couple will probably live longer. <laughs> true. They're eating a lot of Doritos on their hike. <laughs> <laughs> They're good trail snacks. <laughs> yeah, you always hear just, that about Doritos. You <laughs> just wipe, wipe the cr- crumbs off. You know where you went. <laughs> That is a thing. Again, don't like, you know, if you're manipulating your partner, it's a bad idea. But if you do want to share that particular hobby or show them the joys of gaming, that is kind of a, it, it should be a progression, you know. Don't start them off with Mortal Kombat 11 or, you know, World of Warcraft or something like that. No, you that's know, true. And there's so I'd many say... different, like, options now, too. You know, like it, there's so there's so many games. It's not just like you either pick Mario or super violent shooters. It's like there's so many more intellectual games and indie games and games that that if you know if you know what your partner likes, exactly. then you could probably find something that fits into that. You know, like not too many steps or you know they like to run around and cast spells. You know, there's there's just so much. There's just so much. So much entertainment out there. I know. Yeah, and you can even. It's easier now than ever to sort of take them through the same progression if you've been gaming since the, you know, mid '80s, like we have. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, you even start them off with a game that's you know, quote unquote, simpler. Like you could play the actual Mario Brothers three game, and start them off with that, and see if they have fun with that. Um, even simpler if you want, I guess. Or the Super Mario one, you know. Um, 
So see if they're like into something like that and try to do a few things. Um, and like you said, genres. Like I've known people who started with Mario Brothers and then really got into playing The Sims for whatever reason. Like that was just the next game. That, and this was someone who never played video games. <laughs> and He's then not talking about me. No, not <laughs> and eventually they were playing like World of Warcraft like all the time. True story. Those are two pretty big jumps in my opinion <laughs> yeah from mario Maybe. to the sims to warcraft <laughs> perhaps they were just predispositioned to mm. enjoy video games they just never really took the time to play it and then when they had a push they got into it so nice anyway i'm not a love expert or anything so <laughs> take my <laughs> advice with a huge grain of salt <laughs> i correct. think you're doing you're doing okay yeah yeah okay uh, I think this is a good thing to talk about, though, because, like, you know, it's it, we're we're removing some stereotypes, right, and some and some stigmas, you know, of gamers. Ooh, they're scared of girls. <laughs> Game, you know, like that's not that's yes. <laughs> not true. <laughs> it's Your not like stuff, yeah. Yeah, it's not like there's there's assholes and really great people in everything that you do forever and ever until the end of time, and. Yeah. No, no one. I don't think there's any one, you know, hobby that, you know, makes you more predisposed to that than another. Unless your hobby is like going to KKK rallies, and then, you know, we have a problem there. Yeah, but right. I mean, I don't, I don't think there's, there's necessarily <laughs> too far. <laughs> he lost me. <laughs> I, I was on board. I, I got you. <laughs> We should make sure to say that. You lost me at the KKK. <laughs> <laughs> nice. yeah. uh, what you're saying about gamers being superior to girls, I was actually thinking about the people I know. I was trying to figure out if there's any gamer girls that date non-gamers. Mm -hmm. uh, and I know it's it's got to be out there, right? It's 2019. Like, <laughs> but I was just thinking in my own life, the people I, in They're my all own like circle. They're all like scooped up. Gamer girl. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. That, might be, that might be the case. <laughs> I was curious if you guys knew anyone like that. Hmm. Um, I don't know any gamer girls. No, no, they don't exist. <laughs> no. No. They're They're yeah. I mean, gamer girls exist, but not. not I don't know any of them. I think it would, it really depends on the, the people you hang out with, you know, if you're if, like Kelly and I aren't gamers, so we probably wouldn't really know any gamer girls, but I bet, I bet there are, are a lot of them out there. Sure. Yeah. <clears throat> or they and probably might not bring it up with you because they know it's not something mm -hmm. interesting to you. And mm -hmm. it's a really yeah. interesting point that I never would have thought of gamer girls dating non-gamer guys. When I brought up this topic in my head, like I didn't want to gear it just towards guys. Because there's, I'm sure there's women out there that play games that are not dating gamer guys. Probably. Mm -hmm. Theoretically, yeah. Gamer girls, whether they date a gamer or not, ask them what they if they know anybody or ever had. It's probably more like everyone who's listening. <laughs> Tell us your thoughts. Yeah, blow up our <laughs> Facebook. And while you're at it, leave a rating or review. <laughs> See? That's right. Yeah, that's so all natural. That was so, <laughs> Kelly, you need your own solo show. Uh, We're working on it, actually. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So, you guys want to? Do you guys want to play the game? I thought of. Were you here when yes. I brought that up, Jess? Let's do it. Uh, probably not, but I'm I'm game for a game. All right, we're gonna play. Um, was it? Uh, Mary, fuck, kill. <laughs> Oh yeah, that game. <laughs> and we're gonna we're gonna do it with video game characters. You might have to give me names and descriptions yeah, or something. Them, yes. sure. okay, like we're go, we're go easy first. Uh, we're gonna do Mario, Princess Peach, and Bowser. Oh, that's tough because my maiden name is Bowser. <laughs> I have a fondness, you fondness for him. Him, yeah, him. Oh, I mean, I said, he's king Bowser, so I mean, he's a king. <laughs> <laughs> Take that into consideration. Wait, so it was who? He Mario, does have Princess 12 children, Peach. Though, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
gals or, or is it eight? <laughs> he has eight kids that you have to adopt. <laughs> All right, so I'll take this one. It's gonna shock you. Are you ready? Yeah. Who should I start with? It's Mary first. I would yeah. marry. I think I would marry King Bowser. I do. <laughs> really? I like the idea of having the power. I'm fond of the name, so it's a good married name. Um. And you want to change him, right? Yeah, exactly. It's that bad boy, you know. <laughs> chasing after the same yeah. girl for 30 years. Yeah, so he's loyal. Win him over. <laughs> yeah. I'm obsessed, I think. But. And I think, I'd, I mean, I think you have to fuck <laughs> Princess Peach. Words I've never thought would come. <laughs> uh, boy of the game. Mustache. Yeah. Mario's mustache just throws you right off, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I honestly think Mario's a little annoying. Like, like just stop. Oh, no. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's all the noises in the game. And he's yeah. just like, stop jumping. Like, stop jumping on things. Just, like, move forward. Get the girl he won't. He just, he gets distracted. Like, no. I mean, just Gotta chill. get all those coins. Yeah. Yeah. See? <laughs> He doesn't even care about her. Just wants all the bring in the brother, can't do it himself. Yeah. Yeah. What's up with wow. him anyway? Just kill him. Just kill him off. So that's my, my answer. Yeah. Oh my God. How do you follow that? Yeah. That was a good answer. That was a really great answer. <laughs> Terrible. Right. Anyone else or we want to move on to another one? Uh, you can't that's that's perfect. It. That was good. All right. Let's go it. Next, you next it. we'll do uh Legend of Zelda. Oh. So we have Link. Uh, Princess Zelda and Ganon Ganondorf. In a way, it's the same question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is kind of okay. Yeah, but they're two different princesses. They're two different heroes, really. Ganon yeah. and Bowser is slightly point. along the same lines. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I okay. Person, so I think least. I think you marry. Uh, you marry. Princess Zelda, because she's like, well, because you can't marry Ganon, because he sucks, right? You have to kill him. But like Link's gone all the time. He's like always, you know, gone on all these adventures. I don't want to marry him. Yeah, doesn't doesn't say much. Doesn't communicate well. (laughs) Mm. Yeah. So you, so, so he's your, he's your little side piece, okay? And then, (laughs) and then you, and then you marry Zelda. And it was kill Ganon. Yeah. Kill. yeah. Point anyway. Okay. He's trying to take over the world or whatever. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> I totally buy into that. Yes. Yes. Same. Yeah. yeah. Convinced me. There's... I wasn't sure because I don't know. Something about Zelda kind that of a tall, he's tall, dark, and handsome Ganon. I mean, uh, I no, but boy, definitely I thought, yeah, Link is the fuck buddy for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, He's got that me. Orlando Bloom in Lord of the Rings mm. thing going on, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, especially in Breath of the Wild. You like he and you can like dress him however you want to turn him off somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> that was one thing I spent a lot of time watching Justin do is pick out freaking outfits for Link. Every single game. Oh, yes. <laughs> Ashton told me he literally bought the expansion pack. <laughs> Because of the outfit, <laughs> the uh, the safe face or whatever way to say it is, there's new armors to unlock. But yeah, really, there's just more outfits. More pretty outfits. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, one is like kind of like Ganon, so it's kind of. Uh, well, it's an interest. This is going to get way too deep, but <laughs> it's kind of an interesting question because there's a lot of iterations of all those three characters. Mm. Um. Like, sometimes Ganon's not even a person or human, or he's just kind of a, you know, pig or whatever. Uh, Literally. Yeah. Mm. And there's... I didn't know that. Yeah. There's a lot of different Zeldas uh, with different personalities. Like, sometimes she's kind of a kick-ass ninja. A lot of times she just kind of doesn't do anything. <laughs> she's just <laughs> cat- kidnapped. Good you housewife. Know. Yeah. Yeah. Probably sometimes she's, like, spunky and, you know... Adventurous and stuff. So anyway, you kind of have princess. (laughs) (laughs) Like things more or less the same. (gasps) Yeah. Oh man. (laughs) 
Got it. Yeah. All right. Do you have another uh, pairing for for you or Ashton here? I want to hear some boys input. Uh, oh, I guess we could just do. Um, let's see. How about Samus Arin from Metroid, Lara Croft from Tomb Raider, and who's another good female? Chung Lee from Street Fighter. <laughs> There you go. It's like nerd stream. Hmm. See, I think too long for these kind of things. I gotta weigh all the options. <laughs> you can do that. You just have to do it out loud. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's see here. We're doing a uh, modern day Laura, by the way. Okay. <laughs> what was it though, Chung Li? Yeah. Hmm. Probably kill Chung Li. She's a little too aggressive and would kick my ass, which is. Kind of hot in a way, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't really get scissor kicked in the face. Uh, so what's left? who would I marry? Probably Samus. She seems very honorable, and uh, she's always kind of out to save everybody. You know, she's she's kind of doing what's right to protect people. So marry Samus, and then. Since you guys got to say Link is your fuck buddy, then I guess that's Lara Croft, which is <laughs> cliche in a way, I guess. A little cliche, <laughs> but at least it was reasoned out more than just. She's so hot. She's, with love, she's hot. Yeah. yeah I mean, all well, three she's of them. away all the time, too. So you don't yeah. even have to. She's she yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. on her little adventures. Yeah, I think she is super rich. Mm. Oh. I don't know if Samus has any money or currency in any way. She's always just. <laughs> She does have a cool spaceship. She's a bounty hunter. Yeah, she has a cool spaceship. I like it. Ashton, should you give one to Sure. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Again, again, he thinks too long for these things. Yeah. <laughs> he edits it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I can't even see this is bad. I can't even think of girls in video games. And so yeah, it's all the girls. Yeah, yeah exactly. Have to go back and listen to our episode about women in video games. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. We'll do Jaina Proudmore from World of Warcraft. Okay. How about I was gonna pick a Fallout Four character, Piper, because she's like the first one you meet, and the elf that's on the front of the EverQuest box. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow, deep cut there. <laughs> Your nerd is showing. Quest. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, mm. Are you looking up pictures? I want to see what, let's see if I have the right elf in uh, EverQuest. <laughs> I think it's an elf. She's a wizard or something. I don't think she's an elf, but uh, she might well, be. There okay. Uh, hmm. Piper always found to be pretty annoying, but she's connected and she can pick locks, which is useful. <laughs> uh, Jaina Proudmore is uh, a pretty good leader, but she's also an alliance member, which is a major strike in my book. <laughs> the EverQuest, uh, I, don't, I don't know. Wizard, Wizard enchantress, something like that. Whatever she is. She has a name. We just don't know it. Oh. I don't know much about her. She's a wizard. I think she's a good guy, right? Don't know. We'll say yeah. All right. Uh, well, I'll pick her for my fuck because I don't know anything about her. So we'll just. What night stand. Hot. Yep. Do my business. <laughs> Keep it strange. Keep it strange. Oh, man, I don't want to marry either of them. Mm. <laughs> I guess I'd probably marry Piper because she is pretty driven and uh, she's got a cool outfit. <laughs> it's a long way to fall out. And uh, she she actually did have a pretty cool story. You know, it was all fleshed out. Jaina, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to kill because she's on the alliance. And I can't get over that. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. Good job. Way to go. Oh, that was fun. 
Yay. <laughs> All right. Anything else you guys want to want to say or go over or mention? If you don't have anyone special this Valentine's Day, video games are a good option. <laughs> <laughs> don't buy into society's uh, whatever it is, stereotypical Just... notions of relationships and go out with your friends and have a good time. True that. Chocolate. Yeah, buy yourself a box of chocolate and cry yourself into some... Oh, that's what I mean. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I want to hear if anyone has more, or like, wants to continue our little game. Oh. <laughs> Think of some more? Yeah, that would be so fun. I mean, it won't probably be as fun for me, because I only followed about a third of all those, but mm. it's fun to hear people's rationale, so that's pretty good. Huh? Well, happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Yeah. Thanks for having me on the show. Yeah, oh, it was yeah, fun. Okay. Glad you guys could make it. Alrighty, thanks for joining us here on the Nerd Herd Gaming Podcast. Hope you enjoyed our little Valentine's Day special. If you enjoyed what you heard today, be sure to follow us on Facebook at facebook.com backslash next level nerd and let us know how we're doing, what you think, what you like, what you don't like, and of course on our homepage at nextlevelnerd.com. You can also support us if you go to our Patreon backslash next level nerd page. Give us a dollar. Give us 50. Either one's good. And uh, be sure to check out our other shows. We have the Next Level Nerd Movie Podcast for movies. 3 to one Lay On for LARPing. And Sugar Frosted Cereal where you can catch Kelly. Sometimes Jess. Alright, thanks for being on the show, guys. And remember all you out there to spread the word, spread the nerd. Yeah. And we hope... You enjoy Valentine's Day, or enjoyed probably because it's coming out after. Because <laughs> it could could come on Valentine's Day. There's definitely a joke there. <laughs> <laughs> now that's how you end a podcast. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> yeah, I can't even say anything else after that. Job, please. <laughs> Yeah, if you liked uh, what you... <laughs> Go ahead, then.